Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am feeling about 50% better today. Thumbs up for that. So this is the delightful die cutting sale at Spellbinders. Lots of steals and deals and some new things added that I was like, yay, <laughs> into the sale. Everything will be detailed and linked below. A lot of die cutting goodies are in there. I'm going to show you a lot of notables in this sale. There will be two categories at the top of the sale. Die deals and bundled die deals, meaning more than one set of dies in a bundle. Okay, so you can check out either one. In this sale, I would say go through every page, check your wish list, see which items you really want, see if it's in this sale. You may see some things in this video too that you might want to add to your crafty stash. Don't forget to apply your Spellbinders rewards. If you have set up an account at Spellbinders, you will find the rewards in the tabs across the top over to the right. Just click that and you'll see if you get back $10 off, $15 off or more. You're accumulating those points, which is cash. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you an update on some crafty news. But I'm going to go straight into this video because there are a lot of goodies. Let's get started. First up, crafters, and I'm going to call this the happy to see you in the sale. <laughs> this is from Nicole Spores, Merry Mug and Circle Delights collection. Some of her collection is on sale. What was not in previous sales was this beauty, which is now in this sale. This is the Merry Mug Creation Dies. And this die set will give you this beauty right here. I'm going to also come back to this card because it's also featuring some foundation dies all nicely layered up. These are on sale too. Thumbs up. Plus that tag. Again, thumbs up. You'll get the cup. You'll get a topper for the cup if you wish. You get the candy cane and all these other accessories. This die set was not in the previous sales. This is the first time I'm seeing it available and in this sale. So take advantage. This is now $13.19 from $21.99. Yay! You can buy one for you and a crappy friend too. Some of the other goodies, like I said, in this collection are on sale. I believe it's these two. And I think this one is not on sale. The festive ornaments, okay? Now you can get your Merry Mug on sale. Along with the Merry Mug, I want to talk about another set that's also on sale. Because this is in the same theme. This is from the Throwback Collection. This is the coffee or tea dye. This is $11.39 from $18.99. So you can do the mug with the foam and you can also do your coffee tumbler and your frappuccino. Yay! So these two are fabulous together. Complete your set and they all have all those fabulous layering bits. Love. Look Up next, crafters. Happy to see in this sale. This is my beautiful Reese collection. This was recently in the BOGO sale. There was one die that was not part of the BOGO sale. All five dies are in this sale on sale. It was the Garden Wreath Builder. Now this beauty is on sale. If you wanted to play with building all sorts of wreath cards, these are all featuring the Garden Wreath die. It's a mixture actually of the Garden Wreath add-on, which is all these florals, and my wreath builder. This is the builder wreath die, okay? This is the starter set. You're on a tight budget, you want to get some other things. This is the one to get. But for the start of this year, to carry you all the way through fall, these two are fabulous. Garden wreath and builder wreath. Garden wreath and builder wreath, both in every single card here. You can do a fall version. You can do just happy birthday all year long. You could do this version. This was a video by Tina Smith where she taught the tutorial of how to put it together like this where you deconstruct it. I was using it like swags and things like that. Here I have another version of my garden wreath. This is my over the top birthday card, but there is the birthday wreath add-on here, here, and garden wreath add-on all the way around. Love! There is also in this sale, Halloween wreath add-on, Christmas wreath add-on, birthday wreath again, just here for the balloons, and my wreath builder with some die cuts. So you can play deconstruct with this set and you can make lots of wreath cards over and over. Deconstruct it, turn it into a swag like you're seeing here. I give you twigs, I give you branches, all sorts of goodies. Build a wreath, $14.99 from $24.99. Now in this sale, which wasn't there before, garden wreath add-on. So happy to see you. $16.19 from 
$26.99. You'll have the ability to make lots and lots of floral cards. These two together, winners, okay? There is the birthday wreath add-on, $16.19 from $26.99 as well. Christmas wreath add-on, $17.99 from $29.99, but you're getting lots of options and play with the Christmas wreath add-on. And Halloween wreath add-on, $14.99 from $24.99. So I will put a link for my entire collection because the entire thing is on sale. What is nice, if you picked up everything before in the BOGO sale, now you can add build a wreath. Yay. Up next, I'm gonna talk about two past large die of the month. This one is Club Blooms and this one is Blooming Heart. If you did the BOGO sale, that was your best deal. But right now, this is still a good deal, especially if you don't have either one of these beauties. These are two floral die sets, okay? This is Club Blooms, $30 from $40. Love. You'll see this card a lot because this is like one of my favorite cards. It has foundation dies, stitch numbers, and club blooms. So I'll be coming back to this one shortly. But this is a fantastic die set. Club blooms for the win. Put together all sorts of florals quickly, easily, and just so pretty. A2, 5 by 7 it handles both. My next favorite here, I love Blooming Heart. And you can make a heart-shaped card. This is a card I just recently made with it. You can decide to use the heart don't use the heart. So when you don't use the heart, or you can just change the sentiment, this can go into all year round, sending love, happy birthday, etc. Okay, happy anniversary too. And bridal, $30 from 40. Also, with this one, you can pre-make a lot of what is here. You can cut the foliage frame, these two pieces, what I have in the gray, then build the florals on top with these dies and leave it. I had built these two pieces because it's two sections, one, two, that come together to form the heart. I built these weeks before I finished this card. When you have some downtime, you can make a bunch of these. $30 from $40 for each set. Up next, crafters. I love this set. Even if you don't do stitching on paper, this is two sets of it. Spellbinder sent me one and I purchased a second set because I love this die set so much. This is called the Stitched Floral Flip frame you're looking at $13.19 from $21.99 only on this card are you seeing stitching this was my first time making it with the floral flip deconstructed and had fun with three other cards with no stitching on my florals and it absolutely works love this set this is one that you can make really fun pretty cards because the stitch holes that you don't stitch through if you don't do the stitching gives the card texture and i love it for light-hearted cards cards for younger recipients maybe a teen etc this is a really pretty set for that and you can deconstruct it like i did here and it comes together very very easy love stitched floral this one floor. is called spring reflections 24 dollars from 40 she is a beauty. So you can have her like this. You can just put it straight onto an embossing folder. You can work the card as it is intended. You can bring in a stamped image and then have the flowers in the back with this beautiful Easter card. I love this set. It also has that foliage frame, two different styles. Then you build the flowers on. So this is another one that you can pre-make put it down when you need something. Then you make these beautiful cards. These foliage frame style dies, why they are really nice. One, they'll speed up your crafting because you don't have to guess your floral arrangement. Two, they're stunning, always. Just change your colors and play. Number three, they can help you make very elegant, pretty cards. You can see both of these with happy birthday, done these are just fabulous with this foliage frame that's what i'm going to call it okay that you build the flowers on so you don't have to sit there and second guess yourself with how do i put together a really special card for someone very special this is one of those sets 24 from 40 she comes with a lot in here too this is using one of these drop-ins here you have another drop-in i used this but i had given that card to a friend who was like Wow, this is a pretty card. <laughs> it's so nice. I tell you, love this. So that one's for the win. 
crafters, clearly I'm going through floral cards first because your floral dyes are the ones that will help you get there. This beautiful set is on sale, the Towering Blooms Dyes. This is one of those mod floral dyes. $30 from $40. This is a large die of the month. Look at this. You even get the little vase in it. You get sentiments and then you get to make the flowers. This one is closer to what the example is on the packaging. Then you can deconstruct it like this. Love both examples. Fabulous set right here. Towering Blooms. Your mod florals. Love. Up next, crafters. This is the Four Petal Bloom Reflection. This die set is... $13.19 from $21.99. That's a great deal. Plus, a lot of the Four Petal Collection is on sale. So I'll put a link for the collection too because there's a lot of goodies within this collection. The reason I'm showing you this one, if you look at the graphic, which I'm going to show you here for the delightful die cutting sale, it's this set. Look how beautiful it is. Again, featuring foliage frame. So you cut this out in green, gray, blue, whatever color you wish for your foliage. Then you build the florals on top. This one is gorgeous as well. You can bring it together and then put a sentiment here. You can spread it out, put a bigger sentiment here. Here I'm using some of the other dies within the collection. This is another stunning card that you can have at the ready. This is just sticking on flowers like a puzzle. And it's an easy puzzle. So this one is another winner. $13.19 from $21.99. Four Petal Bloom Reflection. Love. And I love that they used it for the graphic because as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I still love this set. It's such a great set. Up next, crafters. This one is Mini Blooms and Sprigs. She is $6.59 from $10.99. What you are seeing here is me buying four sets of it. <laughs> I bought it first when it wasn't on sale when it was first introduced. Over time, shopping spellbinder sales, I just add another one, add another one, add another one. This is on a five and a half by seven and a quarter inch panel here with my magnet holding four sets. Here is an example of it that I used on one of the new releases. This is that alphabet set, I believe it's called Every Occasion. I'll put it here on the screen, but it's a better press set and it's doing fabulous. The letters, you get every single letter, and I'm gonna do a whole video on this because she's special. To finish my card, I used mini blooms and sprigs. I just laid these four out, cut a bunch of these flowers, <laughs> laid those other ones, cut a bunch. So I love having more than one of this, and a $6.59 from $10.99. If you get two of them, that's close to two for the price of one. So mini blooms and sprigs for the win. It'll look like this. She is a winner, especially for the scale. When you need those little bits, she's fabulous for that. Mini blooms and sprigs, big sister, is Be Bold Blooms. Here she is with the mailbox set. Here she is, deconstructed on a slimline card, also featuring another foundation die. Why do I have it in this envelope? Because I have multiples of them. I have three sets of this as well and I have spread it out where I can do these flowers alone, this foliage, etc. Bee Bowl Blooms, $14.99 from $24.99. So this is almost at the two for the price of one. She is the cousin <laughs> to Club Blooms, okay? Club Blooms will have just a larger sizing. Club Blooms, Bee Bowl Blooms. Can you mix and match them together? Oh, yes, you can. Can you bring in that mini blooms and sprigs? This into here? Absolutely. It all works together. Up next, crafters, I call this one a steal. This is the Stitched Kaleidoscope Arch Die Set. This is a new die set, too. This one gives you this piece down here where you can do stitching. You can also choose not to stitch and just have this, and there is a matching stamp set for it. It also comes with these beautiful florals. Here I'm using a different set. This is one of those same foliage frame. This is Floral Reflection. I believe this is in the sale too. And then this is the flowers right here. This one is $13.19 from $21.99. Why I say this is a steal? Because it's a new item at a great deal. Up next, crafters. One of my favorite 
single little die that is just so pretty especially going into spring now your easter crafting your summer crafting fall too this one is the sunflower serenade love her she is now eight dollars and 99 cents from 14.99 in the bogo sale this was not a great deal at that time the buy one get one free was better with higher ticket items like those Kit Club die sets like Club Blooms. But now, by herself, I love her. You can change the color. Super pretty and very easy to put together. This is another one that you can die cut a bunch and mass produce. And she is stunning by herself. Here with better press and a sentiment. Here with glimmer, a frame and a sentiment. Here with my Builder Wreath die set here in the background as a shaker card with some ink blending here. Just love her. Alongside Sunflower Serenade, there is the Serenade Sentiments dies. This is a fabulous sentiment set. You get happy birthday, best wishes, thank you, thank you for, grateful and thankful. Here you're seeing thankful, happy, and I have two more thank you. These are all fall inspired and this one is all year round. This die set is only from the advent calendar. So this one you can't buy, but if you got the advent calendar last year, two thumbs up. She was fabulous. So both of these for the win. Next in florals, this is the Envelope of Wonder collection. All of the Envelope of Wonder is on sale, so I'll put a direct link for that. The main draw in this collection, Envelope of Wonder dies. You guys have been seeing this one a lot on sale, and every single time I show it to you in a video because she's fabulous. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I love to do Spellbinder Steals and Deals videos, even collective Steals and Deals videos where I do all the companies, especially when the sale are like absolute steals and deals so if you are new to my channel welcome please like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing she is $23.99 from $39.99 yes your best deal was in the BOGO sale when she would have been $20 but at $23 she's still a great deal so love it you'll get this envelope you'll get all the florals you'll get this tag and this is a gigantic die set that's why this is a steal at 23 because it normally retails for 39.99 even at 39.99 this is a fantastic deal at regular price with a different retailer this would be a very expensive die set something like this with all the bits and pieces would be more into the 45 55 you know what i'm talking about if you shop with other brands you know exactly what i'm talking about this is fantastic at 23 and if you like to give die sets as a gift some of these larger die sets are the ones to be like wow as a gift but it's not costing you an arm and a leg because you bought it during steals and deals yay <laughs> love love look at this for everything mother's day happy anniversary best friend love you thank you you mean so much to me get well soon anything all occasion and you can even turn this and i keep saying i'm going to do it i haven't done it yet but you can turn this into an easel card super easy she'd be stunning just standing on somebody's desk you brighten my day that would be perfect with something like this look how pretty this is play love envelope of wonder all the other add-ons are on sale christmas wonder halloween wonder and autumn all of them are on sale but the envelope of wonder the base die set if your budget is tight that's the one to get okay. up next crafters this is from simon hurley this is the floral stem and ceramic vase set you can buy them both separately each set is on sale within this sale you can also buy it as a bundle the bundle $32.99 from $54.98. Look at this. Look at these florals. You can do your techniques on them. I did ink blending on both. Look at those vase. These are fabulous cards. Love them. So both set together. $32.99 from $54.98. Up next, I have two dark cards. <laughs> This is from the Sealed by Spellbinder standalone dies. A lot of their standalone dies are on sale within this sale. So I'm just going to put a general link for Sealed by Spellbinder's dies. Just take a look. If you have been wanting any of these in your wish list, this might be the time. There are 
older sets and newer sets, and the themes are crossing the whole gamut. You're getting the Christmas version, the fall version. Here I'm showing you like a spring. Here I'm showing you what I call my masculine card. So you can play with these, and this is fantastic with a wax seal or without. Now I'm going to go into regular dyes. Different things, but not so much focusing on florals, okay? Anytime I see the Stitched Number and More collection, which is only these two items, I have to tell you because it is fabulous to have a Stitched Number set. You can also get the Stitched Punctuation and Symbols. You can get them separately or you can get it together as a bundle. I'm going to give you the bundled price. $37.19 from $61.98. That's a great deal and a steal. And these, you don't have to do stitching. So here you're seeing the numbers stitched. That's for $19.98 with the apostrophe. That's over here. So the punctuation and all the symbols are here. This card, no stitching, using these numbers, and then putting a gem here. Let me give you a quick measurement on the number, just in case you're interested in this. And if you have young children, your teens too, and you're doing 10-year-old card, 14-year-old card, 18, 21, etc. This is a fabulous set for that. Takes up a nice amount of real estate on a card, but not all your real estate on a card. Number five, you're looking at two and a quarter inch tall with the outline. That's the outline in the dark pink, and then the number on the inside will be a little bit smaller by one and a half, okay? And you're going to get zero to eight. Your number nine will also be your number six. Six, nine. <laughs> stitching, no stitching. Put a gem in the center if you wish. You don't have to. This one is the stitched high die. So I stitched up the high. This is a nice oversized card. You're throwing a birthday party or going to a birthday party. Everybody in the office is signing the card. These are the cards you want to make. You can make an envelope for it by scratch or you can also use your envelope punch board to go in these bigger sizes too. Okay. This is using the stitch punctuation right there. So this does serve a purpose and I like that you have all sorts of fun things here for those younger recipients that may be into the texting and stuff. So you could do hashtag, maybe if they're a sports player, number 54, anything. So this is a fabulous set. I'm going to put a link for the collection. Then you can also check the individual and you can also check the two together. But this is a great addition to any craft stash that you'll reach for without stitching too. Thumbs up. I love this set. I know I have an example of it. Can't find my card. <laughs> But she's so cute. This is called the Popular Sentiments Dies. This one is $8.99 from $14.99. Coming back to the same teen crafting. This has a nice bubble detail. I'll look and see if I can find a photograph of my card and link it here in the video. This would be great with the happy birthday. You actually saw it here. I thought you didn't see it, but you did. Just a note is in here. So there is happy birthday, best wishes, just a note, thank you for... This happy birthday is so much fun, especially for a teen. It has that nice bubble detail and it's not too big, not too small. So at $8.99, this is a great deal for the popular sentiments dies. I know I use this happy birthday. I just don't know on what. Yeah. <laughs> but it would be great on here, like with the stitch numbers and club blooms in this type, in this style of card too. That happy birthday. So much fun. Love this. Up next, speaking of teens and youth and fun and sports and your kids, grandkids, etc. This is a fabulous set. This is by Justine D and is called the Game Day Collection. The Bundle, which I am missing the numbers die here. Number 27 and number 1. It's a fabulous die set. I'll show you the photo here of what the number set looks like. I am missing that one, but the whole bundle, which includes this embossing folder, the numbers, the spring sporting goods, I mean, the, sport, the sporting goods die, the athletic apparel die, and the sentiments, all five items, $56.97 from $94.95. That's a bargain. And if you have kids, if you have any need for this, your spouse loves golf because these shirts can be a golf shirt here i'm using it for soccer here this is like a jersey in here with a stencil look at this one 
Super Bowl football. Here, feminine birthday card for a bowling party or just if you do have if you have a bowling league birthday cards with this this is a fantastic set this is another one that you might not think you'll need and you'll be surprised how it's like well thank goodness i at least have one set with the sports <laughs> and the great shirt too love it t-shirt um polo shirt jersey and then these sporting goods covers a lot of sports so the whole collection is on sale, but the bundle, I think, is a great deal. And I have to find my numbers die. I think I had put it somewhere else where it shouldn't be. It should be all here in my little storage envelope. Yeah. Embossing folders I don't keep in here because they're just too much. They're too thick for this. That would, that would, be, that would be a waste of my folder. So I keep my embossing folders by itself. But just love this set so much. Yeah. Game day for the win. Yay! <laughs> Crafters, I am so happy to be feeling better. This is um, this is scrapbook.com storage envelopes. I still think these are out of stock, though. But I don't have space. I might not have space to put a link below for this. But I love this to hold something together. Here I made my note that I'm missing those numbers. Yeah. All righty. Next. Up next, crafters, here is another fabulous bundle. Who put that dog in the window? <laughs> Love this. This is from Simon Hurley. This is Hot Diggity Dog. Stamp and die set. When this first introduced, cha-ching. Now, this is a great deal for stamps and die set. Notice, huge oversized stamp set too. So for the Hot Diggity Dog, for Hot Diggity Dog, $31.19 from $51.98. That's a steal. You get like nine dog images here. So super love. And the coordinating dies. Fabulous set. Then to complement the dogs, or the cats would say, well, the dogs compliment me, <laughs> comes the kitties. Love the pretty kitties. So this one is called Perfect Cats. And then same... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cats in this one. So this one has ten cats doing all sorts of fun things. Coordinating die. Pretty kitty. You're looking at $19.19 .19 from $31.99 for the set. Stamp and die. That's a steal. Love this. Look at the cat. You can do, you just have so much fun with the cats. This released around last Halloween. So I did like a Halloween theme. Then I also did the birthday card here with a shaker. Another birthday card. So love. Here's another Halloween card with better present kitty. <laughs> Some die cuts. And then, of course, the dogs. The dogs came out first. Love the dogs. My dog looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> So both sets are fabulous. And I'm glad it's part of the die cutting sale because even though it's this, you're really getting this. Yay. Love both of these for the winner. So I'll also put a general link for Simon too so you can look at all the other goodies that he has on sale. Speaking of general link for him, I'm going to put one also for Susan Tyranny Coburn if you love your floral dyes. And crafters, I'm talking 3D floral building dies, okay? These are by Susan Tyranny Coburn. A lot of her die sets are on sale in this sale as well. She has a lot of tutorials on Spellbinders YouTube channel and also Facebook that you can see where she shows you how to do this. Yes, she's been doing it a long time. So she goes at a certain speed. Take your time. Wind it back. Watch it again. And you can make beautiful 3D projects. These are stunning Stunning. Okay. That's my Mother's Day card that I took back from my mother. <laughs> that sounded so bad, right? Anyway, <laughs> I borrow it from time to time. Up next, crafters, the Country Road collection is on sale. This die set can create a card like this. It can be also incorporated in a card. This is Simon's new Spring Sampler Better Press set. This has been a hard sellout, but I did find one place that it is in stock. So I will link my Better Press video here so you can take a look and also see that link. If I can squeeze it in this video, I'll try. But crafters, I'm going to more than likely shorten some of my listings here because I need the space to link everything below. 
But look at this wagon wheel. So I use the wagon wheel here with the spring bunnies. So love this. And a lot of people obviously love it. Sold out everywhere. Rustic garden dies, which you see the rustic wheel. You can do the barrel, etc. Even the fence. $16.19 from $26.99. Love. Look at that water pump. So much fun. Also shown here, a lot of the garden builder. Both places. Same, $16.19 from $26.99. Look at all of those dies. 22 dies for all of this. And the scale on this one, small enough to fit here with those spring bunnies or in these scenes. And there are more in the set, okay? All of these as well. If you get the seasonal decor, you're going to get for your St. Paddy's Day, your Easter, and all those other seasonal Valentines too. Love, even a gift. So this is a fabulous set. I'll put a link for the whole collection and then the rustic garden and the garden builder. Up next, crafters, Gnome Drive collection. This is also on sale. What I want to point out in this sale is the Gnome Drive spring dies because right in here, you're looking at your St. Paddy's Day goodies. This is $13.19 from $21.99. Yay, you can add some of the other bits, preferably this set which is the gnome drive holidays if you want to get the car and the gnome to then build everything else on. I'll put how much this is in the sale. I believe the entire collection is on sale, okay? Love, gnome drive, yay. Because I know a lot of you are getting your St. Patty's Day crafting started, so this is a great set for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, crafters, now I'm going to go into the second half of the video. This is going to be all foundation dies. Foundation dies are what will help you finish the card. And if you are participating in the card making superstar contest at Spellbinders, talk more about it towards the end of the video. You can use foundation dies to help you finish your cards, inspire your cards, get you going. Everlasting squares. Foundation dies also are fantastic with Better press, standard foundation dies, rectangles, your circles, your squares. Keep that in mind as well. So if you're new to better press or glimmer, you're thinking, okay, where do I go from here? Foundation die. That's your best friend. First up, crafters, I'm going to talk about four tag die sets. These are great foundations that are on sale. First up, dotted tags. This is part of the throwback collection. So this one will be limited time only, limited supply, because this is a vintage die set brought back. This one is $6.59 from $10.99. Here are two examples I use with the tag. Look at that great dot detail. Both of these feature the largest tag right here. And if you cut the tag by itself, it's a solid tag. Dot detail is a drop-in, so you have choices. And then here I turned it into a shaker. And here, just a tag with a simple stamp image love this 659 from 1099 two of my by far favorite standard tag die sets tight budget get this one this is assorted tags she comes with a lot of coordinating stamps even some glimmer hot foil plates work with her that's why i have her in this envelope this one is 899 from 1499 love simple die set six dies all with the little hole in it here you can use this detail which i never use you'll reach for it over and over again small sentiment have a sweet christmas right there here i used this square one i love too that's it with glimmer see how the glimmer sentiment fits right in there look at this little tiny tag on a shaped card love assorted tags 8.99 from 14.99 a definite winner must add to your stash because of all the accessories that she comes with as well up next in the winning tags create a decorative tag here you're looking at 8.99 from 14.99 this is create a decorative tag by itself as a tag then there are these drop-ins you can use a drop-in as a decorative detail you even have this beautiful fringe i know some of you don't like the halloween crafting but look beyond halloween Change the colorway, and this could be bright colors, happy birthday with a fun background and florals, okay? But I just wanted to show you, look at the fringe detail too, how fabulous it is. So you just layer up the fringe, layer the bottom one first, then this one and this one, and you could do all three colors. This Here. dye is also from the advent calendar, so that's not available. But look at it with the ice cream for our birthday. You could put this on a gift bag. You could put this on a card like so. Ignore the background, but hey. <laughs> 
$8.99. Love, create a decorative tag. Sentiment Labels Dies. This one is $6.59 from $10.99. This is a fantastic set. Here you saw it before. I don't know if you noticed it. You have this drop-in, which is this piece. The background, which is that. For this part, I didn't put any thread through it. That's your thread die too, if you wish. Or you could use thread. But I just put a gem. So here I did Glimmer. Hooray, it's your birthday. This is the same game day collection here. Stamped out. And then look at the detail. You can do it solid. One piece. You can also do it layered up like I did here. You could just do this piece by itself like I did here. So these are ones that you can get a few of them and you'll be a happy camper with all your labels and such. And when you're die cutting out Better Press Sentiments and Glimmer Sentiments, these are fabulous for that as well. Okay, up next crafters. Thanks so much for hanging in there, especially during this foundation side. This is Essential Modern Ovals, Spellbinders Maker favorite lots and lots of cards from different spellbinders makers using this die let it inspire you this one is 1319 from 2499 look at this card that she inspired look how fabulous she is with better press 2 so this is a full better press background that would be an a2 background and here i turned it into a beautiful decorative element by condensing it with the help of my best friend right here essential modern ovals thumbs up. <laughs> this time helping me do this focused shaker. So in the background, this nice embossing folder. Yes, it could have been an A2 card, but I love this embossing folder so much. It's now a five by seven. But look how I use this as a window. Let this one speak to you. She'll get you there. She looks like a capsule. I love her. Think of her as your great time capsule. So on the bottom here, I have the shaker feature up here. No shaker, just the sky. I'm a beautiful whale. Love her. $13.19 from $24.99. For her, that's a steal. Up next, crafters. There is notched corner frames. $14.99 from $24.99. It is fabulous when you have a glimmered background, lots of open space. Using this die twice gives a whole lot of interest to a card that's relatively flat. Thumbs up. So this is a great one. Look at it here when you have your stamped image. So love it as a great frame. These are all A2 cards. Love Notch Corner. Here it is again. There is some better press where you can use this as the center. Still loving. So even in the smaller sizes, you're getting a great label for your sentiments like this. Okay, crafters, I want to go back for a second because I just found this card featuring the Essential Modern Ovals. This is a great example of it's a shaker, it's a frame, playing with all these layers on this card. Isn't that fun? This is all a glimmer image, but it's made fun and interactive using this die set. Wanted to show you that real quick. Yay! Up next, crafters, two examples of essential hexi gems. Love this set. In the past, I've used her here with a die cut. This is from that Mary Morgan Circle Delight. Essential hexi gems, $14.99 from $24.99. Now, this is a new card you have not seen yet. This is that Better Press Every Occasion Alphabet set. So I have my S with Sending Love. All of it is framed and brought in as a focal point because of this set. Essential Hexi Gems. Love this. This is also great because of the geometric shape for masculine cards. So that's a great deal at $14.99 from $24.99. Up next, Crafters. Essential Arches and Essential Diamonds. Both of them are $14.99 from $24.99. 16 dies in the Essential Arches. 12 dies in the Essential Diamonds. The Essential Arches in particular right now is going very well with its best friend. This is the new best friend. Make-A-Wish Arch Labels Die. This will be a standard price, but I'm going to put this right underneath this one because these two together, bosom buddies. <laughs> For Essential Arches, with its new best friend, here are two new examples. So these are brand new cards. This is with Simon's Easter Bunnies from his spring release in January. This one is Kit Club item, clear stamp of the month. Look at that with the coordinating die. Look how you can have fun and play great kids cards with a shaker detail. Then you come over here to a more elegant, serious card, bringing in this beauty, which you just layer, layer, layer. She really plays well with her new best friend, Make-A-Wish Arch, okay? 
So love this. You can make shaped cards like I did here. You can also make standard card like this and then have frames as well. This is a frame too. This is just layers. All sorts of goodies. Great for centering your better press image and also creating another shaped card. So use these foundation dies to help glimmer and better press over and over again. They will give you a place to go when you have a beautiful background and you're like, okay, where do I go now? Or you have this big sentiment and you're like, okay, what do I do next? These will help you get there. Essential arch card with the little tag and then here, just a stamped image, but look how cute that is. And you just put a little score line in the back. Great card, love this. All right, I need to find some more of the essential diamonds. I've used it more than this, but it's a great background. And here it is with some die cuts. It's another builder with a great shape. Reminiscent of essential hexi gems with the shape. Crafters, I have pulled so many cards. <laughs> I know I had another one of this. I probably showed you before with something else. <laughs> and then put it down but she's a winner as well trust me winner these two bring in this one then to round out this winning team of dies these two beauties right here this is everlasting squares everlasting circles both of these $13.19 from $21.99 both of them four and a quarter inch both of them 16 dies lots and lots of opportunity and play let me show you my squares because I've been talking about them throughout the video. This is playing with everlasting squares. That square coming on in. Here again, the squares coming on in. You see how it's working with die cuts, how it's working with better press. It can do the same magic with glimmer. It's just fantastic. Everlasting circles is one that you see here, especially helpful with my wreath building set. If you want to have a base to start with to build on or to do shakers, these two are fabulous for that because once you put two layers, you have a frame or you can do like this where card base is your frame and then you recess it and put in all your bits and a piece of acetate. So these two winners, love them. Up next crafters, fluted classics, love this set. This is an oldie, but definitely a goodie. Every single part of the Fluted Classics collection, I bought all of these. I did not buy them all at one time. So when I do see them on sale, I'll always tell you because I bought one first, came in, if the sale was, I'd buy two, came in, buy again, buy again. That's how I build some of these foundation die sets. In this sale, the Fluted Classics, not the entire collection is on sale. That's another thing too. The most popular, if you're going to buy anything from Fluted Classics, is right here. This classic, the Rectangle. The largest rectangle here, she is an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. The fluted detail with those dashes and the dot. This is a drop in. So this one is $14.99 from $24.99. Winner. Fluted classic ovals, $16.19 from $26.99. Fluted classic circles, $13.19 from $21.99. This is a card featuring fluted classic squares but the squares are not on sale okay so squares and slim line either they're out of stock or they're just not in this sale and your set if you want to get just one if you want to get something else and i love this but these two are like my favorite out of the fluted classics the ovals because the ovals makes a beautiful frame just gorgeous okay and look at it here with a stamped Easter image. I think it's great. So these are just stamped images with color, but look how it's highlighted and elevated with Fluted Classics. Here's just two layers of the dies here, that small one, that big one. Look at that, creating that focal point. Love it. This is just a printed die cut. So here I'm not even showing you Fluted Classics with dies. I'm showing it to you printed die cut and stamped out. Still fabulous. Love, elegant, love it. Up next, crafters. This is the next door neighbor <laughs> to Fluted Classics. This is the Postage Edge Shapes Collection. Love. Not everything is on sale in this sale as well. But let's talk about what is in this sale. Rectangles. If you can only do one, this is the one to get. The rectangles is $16.19 from $26.99. Circles, same price. $16.19 from $26. So is the square. These two are not in the sale. The oval is another one that's fantastic. With this die set, the rectangle in particular, I just want to point out, out here, this is half an inch bigger. In here, with this detail, with the cut line and the dots, that's your A2, four and a quarter, five and a half inch. Now let me show you some of my examples. 
So here is a house mouse card for Valentine's. This is an A2 card with the dot detail with the white. Out here, it's bigger, okay? So you can really have fun with this. Look at the postage edge square with this one. This is a brand new windows with a view collection. Look at the little fish. It's like an aquarium view. Here, I'm using it marine style with the circle, using this as like a porthole and shaker. Here, another shaker. That's the oval. I've used this over and over again. This works very well too with better press, like so. This is your A2 in the yellow. And then this is just a quarter of an inch in. It gets bigger out here if you keep the postage edge detail. But you don't have to. Love that. So you have lots of room and play. These are like two for one die sets because you can make a card with just the dot detail alone. And then you can also make a card with just the postage alone. And that brings me back to this one. See how the rectangles here going in a smaller scale to highlight that beautiful mug which you can now buy on sale. Yay. <laughs> And the tag too. But you see how the dot detail gives fun? You see how the postage edge gives fun? You see how fabulous it is when you layer it together? You see how you can use it to make a shaker? Help you create a scene? Even elevate your stamped image? Love, 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 love. And like I tell you, fabulous again with glimmer and better press. Because if you just keep the better press image just flat, it's going to look flat. But once you bring in those foundation dies, Look how it comes to life. Look how the better press with the die cut comes to life. Better press here. No die cuts still coming to life. Love it. Love it. Let them work for you. Let them take you home. <laughs> Cross the finish line in crafting. <laughs> but this is your by far winner right here. If you are new to all of this foundation die thing, I would do fluted classics, rectangles, and the postage edge rectangles. Tight budget. These are the two I would get. If you want to get anything else, get the ones that speak to you, like the square or the oval in Fluted Classics. Know what I mean? But these are fantastic, especially the rectangle sizes that go into that A2 sizing. Speaking of A2 sizing, this is one that only one out of the entire collection is on sale. I purchased every single one of these shapes. This is Hemstitch. The only one in this sale is the Hemstitch rectangles. Fabulous. This is an A2. <laughs> Here you're looking at $14.99 from $24.99. What makes this one different? You get that square detail and underneath it, you can put a different color. There's purple here and then black over here. Stitch rectangles. This one is on the way out. Look at the packaging. This is not new packaging. Up next, crafters, my two favorite sets. I'm going to talk about these two. In this sale, though, the only one that is there is the Precision Layering A2 Set B. $14.99 from $24.99. You can work a lot of layers with just Set B. If you want to get the A2 set with it, then you're talking Set A. If you only have A because of your budget, now you can add B at $14.99. 16 dies each. She is a fantastic set. I'm going to take out one of the dies. If you purchase only one set, you're going to be at a quarter of an inch increments. If you purchase both sets, you're at one eighth of an inch increments. This is a great example of layering. Black card base, purple, a little bit wider. This is that one eighth of an inch. One sixteenth on each side is one eighth of an inch. Then the detail. To get this straight with your images, whether you're using Glimmer, Better Press, use these dies to also help you straighten out your image. This is a Better Press image. To cut it straight, I use the help of a die. So I can choose my angle with a die. That's why these are also great. Here I layered up two for a frame. This is also essential arches in a Better Press image. Okay, You can do wide frames this one and then come on in and create that frame so these are great for a2 cards this is also new with the letters so let's say i want that letter to be highlighted i can then come on and center it you see i can put it here i can put it here i can go like this if i wanted something else i can bring it up so but if i came in with a trimmer and trim this down more than likely it's not going to be straight it's going to be wonky because when you press this out sometimes things shift even with glimmer too, things can shift. Here's a great example of a glimmer background. You see, if I want this to be straight, I'll use this die 
to straighten it out. If I go like this, it's wonky. Every single card here was finished because of precision layering. Needed to control the stencil background, put a frame around it, layered up two of these and created a frame, then put a sentiment. Cute little mouse swinging along, but I wanted to bring it down and put a focal point on it. Again, layering up. This is me using it almost like a shaker, creating that frame, no acetate, but have the image, and then popping up the birds. This is, right now, Kit Club item. Kit Club is still open until the 27th too, so if you want to subscribe to any new clubs in Kit Club, I will link my video here. Love Kit Club. Very flexible too. Fabulous deals on everything beautiful. Glimmer image that I had oversized, and then I used the die to create a focal point. See, like I could go like this, I could go like that angle, this angle. So I love these dies for that. This is a frame too in the brown. So that's a thin frame. So precision layering for the win. Let it work for you. I'm using it over and over again. She was in my wish list. I keep saying that, but it's true. She was in my wish list for the longest time. And I was like, ah, oh, it's just a set of rectangles. But this set of rectangles would change your life. You buy these rectangles somewhere else with 16 dies coming in, you're paying premium for it too. Here, not paying premium. So that's another thing. $14.99, this is a steal for this set. Set B is 14. This one is still going to be 24. Sometimes both of them go on sale right now. It's going to be that one, okay? Best friend to it and a little bit bigger. Not as many dies. 5 by 7 matting basics. This one is also set A and B. So when you play with these, you'll also get that increments coming on in. This one is seven dies in each set. Again, just a larger scale of the frame. Now with the matting layers, in set A, the largest one is not a five by seven, it's a eighth of an inch shorter. This is an example of me using it to help me highlight that sentiment straight, not wonky. I stamped this then I press this and things can move. Everything is lined up correctly. These are great too, because you never know when you're going to need that five by seven. Even if you are a die hard A2 card maker, just in case you ever need bigger cards, this is great. $17.99 from $29.99. Let me also show you that you can use this too for an A2. When you come into the smaller sizes, you see that little detail right there? See the spacing when you play with the two together? Coming in smaller with the rectangles of the five by seven gives you long and slim, but then I'm in an A2 here. And this is a glimmered image. So what I did was use two for one. What I cut out here is over here. And then I made a small frame here using this set. So if it was the rectangle, it would be more, not so long and thin. So you can really play with these as well. And at $17.99, another great deal. These are bigger die sets. They normally cost a lot when you purchase them somewhere else. The Throwback Faves Collection. These are all past vintage dies that are bought back by Spellbinders for a limited time. So I purchased every single one of my nine dies. Haven't used this one yet. Labels eight. She's like the cousin to this one. She is $14.99 from $24.99. Penance background. Not a full A2. This one is $13.19 from $21.99. Two cards here. This is with the happy for you. Up next, I love this pillowy one. Curved rectangles. Curved rectangles you're looking at $11.99 from $19.99. Look at it with the little dinosaur. This is from the Monster Birthday Collection. So cute, but love this background. Love that soft bracketed edge. Up next, crafters. Labels 36, $11.99 from $19.99. This is it in the background here against this beautiful embossing folder, just offering that break. This is a pretty same bracket at the top, but then rounded. Here I'm also using it in black though. So it's black against black. It's now dark. So <laughs> we started the video in daytime. Now we're in nighttime. I know. Isn't that super pretty? Love labels 36. Lastly is this one, scored and pierced rectangles. Love this one. This is also not an A2 at the largest size. $13.19 from $21.99. Almost four inches wide by five inches tall. I used her here on an upcoming video. See the detail? When you use one of these dies right here, you get a nice detail here. And then there's the dot detail with this one. So here it is layered up for this A2 card. Featuring again the alphabet. So you're seeing some of my next video. I still had some other cards real quick. 
five by seven matting basics helping me with all these glimmer images and a better press images with the layers so super cute and a frame using everlasting squares look at these cute little square note cards too so love layering up again and playing Alrighty, now I'm going to go into Crafty News. First up, and thanks so much for hanging in there, and you might want to stay for the Crafty News. Card Making Superstar Contest. This is being held right now at Spellbinders. You have until March 13th to submit your cards to win a $300 shopping spree at Spellbinders. If you live close to Phoenix, Arizona, you can then take your winnings and go in person and shop at Spellbinders their warehouse, and also have a crafty session. Thumbs up. If you live international, there is a $250 prize for the card making superstar. For the international card makers, that is where you would go. I'm going to provide links in the video description below of both the US and Canadian for here for the 300 and then international for the 250 pounds. Yay! Get out all your Spellbinders crafty stash and have fun. Good luck. Every time that you submit a card, you have to fill out a form and upload your card, okay? Number two, Better Press Society. I introduced this in the Crafty News video, which I will link here because I might not have the space below to detail what I'm going to talk about now. This is an agreement between Spellbinders and Brick and Mortar local scrapbooking stores, meaning a physical store. Some of those physical stores will have online outlets. That's how I bought this from my local retailer. This is the January Better Press Society. It's more like a partnership between spellbinders and local retailers who have a store and who participate. This is not something you can buy at the Spellbinders website, scrapbook.com. No, no, no. This is just for you to get back in contact with your local scrapbook store and also just support your local store. I supported my local store. Now, in that video, I did not mention because I was not sure that this was available international, but a viewer, thank you so much. She let me know about a store in the UK called Sir Stampalot. They also carry Better Press Society. Now, I was looking further into it. The Better Press Society seems to be a run from January to June, every single month of plates. So this is the January one. Thanks so much, Floral. Look how pretty this is. Let me show you how pretty it really is. Hello. <laughs> I started playing up here. Look at this. This is like so beautiful. You can always crop it down if you want it on an A2, but six inches tall. Look at this three and three quarters of an inch. You see how it's going all the way over? If I wanted to center this, I just put a die on top of it and get it centered. Talk about beautiful, gorgeous, stunning with this January one. Now this has been sold out a lot. You can call your local scrapbook store, find out if they're participating. Better Press Society, ask them, do you still have the January one? Thanks so much, Floral. I will put all my details in the previous video with this, okay? There is the February Better Press Society, which is the butterflies. I'm showing you the graphic here. There is an add-on for that one if you want to add on the stencil to color in the butterflies. Yay, but you're gonna pay a little bit extra. If you wanna get that, these are one and done. This is not like the throwback where it's available certain place. No, no, no. This is your local scrapbook store. So contact them, go in person then and take a look at it and maybe pick up some other items because you can always touch, see, and feel in a brick and mortar store. You're lucky to have a scrapbook store. Mine left many years ago. So I'm supporting the one that's about a little bit over an hour from me. She just sends it to me, but I was so happy when I found this. If you want to get more details, you can go on their Better Press Society Facebook page. That's how I found it. It was suggested to me. So this is something you might want to be interested in. If you can get your hands on this January one, Hello, she is gorgeous. I was fortunate to get one of the last ones. When I found it, I was like, what's that? So I haven't gotten the February one yet, but I think I'm going to get it with the butterflies. All right, next. Speaking of Better Press, this is the Better Press Place and Press Registration Collection. Oh, that one is so long to say. <laughs> and it's only two Better Press plates. This is the Blooming Garden. And I had made this card. This is in that same video with the spring bunnies which I linked and I'll link at the end of the video too so you can take a look. You press it out in sections and then you get this image. 
Why I'm showing you this, because this might be in the sale, I'll let you know here on the screen, or you might want to add this to your wish list. This is from last year. It's called the Friendship Garden Stamp, because when I saw this, I was like, but isn't this something I did with Kit Club? So I found it. It's a stamp. Now, if you got the coordinating stamp and die, this die, and I tested it. Look at that. <laughs> Thumbs up, crafters. Hello. I just took this to the next level. And the coordinating die. So I'll look and see if this is in this sale. If it is, and you got this, I believe the sentiment may fit in here too. It sure does. Thumbs up. If you bought this registration plate, go back in your stash. See if you have this one because this can also help you. These should be able to cut out those florals too. Yay! But I just wanted to show you that real quick while I have you in this video. And I'll go further in my Better Press Place and Registration, which I am working on now that I feel better. But I had to come on, crafters, to show you all of this goodness with the delightful die cutting sale. Thanks so much for watching. Everything will be detailed and linked below. How long this sale lasts, I'm not sure. I'll put it here on the screen if I find the date. But take your time and shop it. Look in your wish list. Don't forget to add rewards. If you see anything that I showed you, I showed you a ton of product. You can check the description box. Alrighty, crafters. Now I'm going to go edit. Stay crafty, my friends. Thanks so much for watching.